Hi guys. I want to do a little electric powered car. So I've been going through my electric motors and found a few that I've actually put aside because they don't work. Uh, basically they don't work because I've abused them and used them with about 9 volts or even more running through them and overheated them and basically killed them off. This one can't even turn the shaft on it. Oh, I can just about if I try really hard, but it's really stiff. If I try it with a battery on it, nothing happens. So I thought I'd just show how you can have a look and see if they're repairable. If you flick these little tabs up on the edges, then you can remove this end. So that's the actual uh, commutator, I believe it's called, with the coils of wire around it. Oh no, sorry, that's the commutator, isn't it? That's the bit that connects the coils via the brushes to the battery. Now, they look alright. They're not burnt out or anything. So I can pop him back in there for now. At this end, the brushes actually look fine, which is unusual because usually when I've been abusing them they're black and burnt, but the brushes look okay. But what I think the problem is, because it's overheated, it's overheated so much that that nylon um, housing has actually melted a bit and it's now a tight fit on the end of the shaft. It should be nice and loose and free spinning. If I pop that into the other end where the bearing is, that spins quite happily. But it can't spin in there, it's actually stiff. So all I'm going to do is run a drill inside there and try and clean it out a bit. I just happen to have a drill here that's the right size. seems to have freed it off. So if we pop it back together, if I put it in that side first you can see where the brushes go. So they make contact with the commutator, I believe it's called. And then put him back in there. back together. I'll just hold it and put some battery on it. I don't know if you can hear it, but now it works. So it was as simple as that. I'd just totally overheated it. That had heated up the nylon housing at this end, caused it to distort slightly, and it was actually binding on the shaft so the motor wouldn't run. now it's fine. So I've just saved myself an electric motor. In fact that's the third one that I've saved in as many minutes almost. It was that simple that I'd actually overheated them so much that the nylon housing at the end had distorted and it was binding on the shaft. Now all those three work. Before I forget, don't forget to push those tabs back down again to hold it all together. There we go. So, job done.
job done. Good as new. <laughs>